Hello, my name is Jennifer from Tech with Jen, and welcome to my first ever blog series called Teacher Training Bootcamp. I've partnered with some fabulous blogger friends to bring you the tips and tricks that we're learning about using Google in the classroom. For this week's post, we will be talking about using Gmail in the classroom. There's some really great tips and organizational tools that you can use in Gmail that will help you with your correspondence with students, parents, and colleagues. teach you how to use Google Voice in the classroom. Did you know that you can get a free phone number from Google? Yeah, you can get one that will um, sync to your computer, your smartphone, and your Gmail account. This really helps alleviate some of the stress that you might feel when you're providing personal information to your colleagues and to your parents. And it's a really great way to provide documentation of the communication that you're having with parents. It goes right into your inbox and you can get audio and text. Let me show you how. In order to get Google Voice, you must first create a phone number. And so you'll want to go to Google Voice. You just Google it, Google Voice, go to the website, and it's going to take you to um, a site that looks like this because um, it's going to ask you to get a voice. And this is if you're logged in in your Gmail account. If you're not logged in, then you'll need to log in your Gmail account. It might look a little bit different. Once you've logged in, you're just going to click here and it's going to take you through several steps um, in order to get your Google Voice number. I'm not going to go through those steps with you because they're pretty self-explanatory and I would have to put my personal information on here. So I'd, I'm going to let you uh, do that for yourself, um, but if you need any help, just let me know. Another thing that you're going to do once you get your number is that you'll want to get the Google Voice plugin, and the way to do that is just to go to Google Hangouts. Um, I just type in Google Voice plugin, and it's going to send me right here. Um, I also have provided a link on um, this video as well as my blog so depending on where you're at watching this um, so basically what you're going to do is download the plugin um, I've already clicked here and I'll just click on my downloads and it's going to start the download process um, more than likely it's going to ask me to close my um, browser which I'm pretty sure I need to do I'm going to go ahead and do that right now so we don't have to worry about it. And I'm going to install this. And it will just go through the process of installing the files to your computer. So once you get your Google Voice number set up and your plugin downloaded, you can begin using Google Voice in your inbox in Gmail. So now I've clicked on an a message that I received from Google Voice in my inbox and it will look something like this. Many times you'll find that the transcript doesn't really look right and so it doesn't make sense but Google gives you this feature where you can play the message back and you can see exactly what it says um, here and you can play it and listen to it here. Hello, I'm sorry we have to change our meeting time to March at 5 p.m. Thank you. Now I can go in here to more and I can go to edit transcript and I can change what really was said. Um, let's see. I'm sorry. I will have to change the meeting time to March at 5. So now I have changed that and I can save it. Another great feature is I can call them back if I want to. So I can click call and just connect right here. 
I can also, if I don't want to call, I can send a text and send it. Um, another feature that I can do, I can mark it as red. I can add a note. I can block this caller if I don't want them to call anymore. I can email this caller. I can download this um, voicemail as well as embed this here. I could embed this on my Google site um, or something like that. So I could even, you know, send messages to my students and embed it um, somewhere so that they would have access to that. Um, so lots of really cool features that I could use Google Voice for that would be very helpful. Hope you learned a lot about Google Voice and enjoyed our first ever teacher training boot camp. Thanks for watching.